my dear students, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent. It is very nice to see you once again to have the opportunity to have another class. So, how was your day? Tell me a little bit about it. Uh -huh. I have a bit. Sorry? I have a busy day. You had a busy day. Okay. I imagine. Let me see. Ana Beatriz, how was your day? Good, bad, busy. Oh, the microphone, honey. I cannot listen to you. Sorry. <laughs> very busy. Very busy. Very busy. Okay. What about you, Jairo? How was your day? Um, um, <laughs> uh huh. Um, no, you see, not busy. Okay, not not easy, but not busy. <laughs> okay, good. That's important. But it was good. Regular. Regular. Okay, it was a regular day. I was like, nah, I say so so. Okay, good. Let's see. Um, well, Veronica, how was your day? Hello, teacher. Good. Good. It was day. good. Thank you. Very good. What about you, Jose Moises? How was your day? Uh, busy. Very busy. Elmer. Mr. Elmer, how was your day? Busy too. Easy and busy. <laughs> okay, let me see. Mr. Carlos Ernesto, how was your day? So, so, teacher, so, so. <laughs> so, okay, it was so, so, you say. Good. Gustavo Adolfo, how was your day? It's always a good day, teacher. It's always a good day, yeah. Well, we are alive, we are safe, sound, healthy. So, without COVID, yeah, everything is a perfect day. Excellent. So, Mr. Isaias, how was your day? My day is easy. It was easy. Hey, that's cool. You see, Mr. Jairo is in Venice there. Yeah, it was a good day <laughs> indeed. Every every day in Venice is a good day. Jari, how was your day? Good evening. It was very good. It was very good. Well, so today we're going to continue with the topic we started yesterday. Do you remember the topic that we were studying yesterday? Uh -huh. Reduction of do and does. The reduction of do and does, good. Do you remember some of the questions and the sentences that we practiced yesterday? What are some of the things that we practiced yesterday? Good evening, teacher. Um, Hi, good evening. Yesterday, uh, yesterday uh, uh, so the practice, uh, the profession uh, in occupation. Professions and occupations, right? We were studying professions and occupations. And we were practicing the different questions, like the ones that I am showing right now on, uh, on the screen, right? Questions like, where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Where does he work? What does he do? And how does he like it? And for sure, for the plurals, and in this case, we don't use auxiliaries, we don't use a, a and N for the answers, because you say, uh, where do you work? In a restaurant. In this case, you use it. But if you ask, what do they do? They are waiters. So you don't say they are a waiters. They are an electricians, right? Because when you have this type of question, like the one that we have here, what do they do? You are asking for a profession or an occupation of a group of people. And in this case, when you answer, you don't say they are 
a waiters because if not, it is going to be incorrect and it's going to be ellos son un meseros and it will be incorrect, right? So those are the details that we need to keep uh, in mind. Uh, we were talking about the reduction of do and does as well. And we were doing this exercise on which you were completing the sentences with the different forms of the questions. We also studied the adjectives to describe jobs, right? Do you remember that we were talking about every specific adjective and we were giving examples of uh, the different jobs, right? Examples of dangerous jobs, demanding jobs, repetitive jobs, mechanical jobs, important jobs, that all of them are important, right? Practical, convenient, fantastic, well-paid and exciting, right? All these adjectives were the ones that we were using yesterday. The last thing we did in class was how to use the adjectives in sentences, right? That we create sentences with the verb to be and the adjective, right? Or sentences that have the noun at the end, right? You have the adjective here, and then you have a noun at the end and how to transform them, right? That was the last exercise that we were going to do. And that's what we are going to do to start the class today, okay? So uh, right now, right, remember our agreements for the class, right? Participate, keep your cameras active and Co uh, collaborate with your friends at the moment of the class and in the WhatsApp group, right? Just for us to remember our rules. So based on this one and going back into business, here we have the original form. A musician's job is interesting. And if we switch this to the other form, you say a musician has an interesting job. The second example, an athlete's job is exciting. How do you transform this sentence to have a sentence similar to this one? The athletic job is boring. Mm, not really, no. because here you have it exciting. Has an interesting job. An athlete has an interest, an exciting job right? Because we need to follow the form that we have in the first sentence. So in this case, it will be like an athlete, and I'm going to write it here. Uh, okay, an athlete has an exciting job, right? And in this way, you have the same form of the previous question. What about the next example? A lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has. A lawyer has. Job. A lawyer has. A stressful job. Exactly like that, right? A lawyer has an. Oh, sorry. A stressful job because it starts with a consonant. A stressful job. Right, that's the way we transform it. What about the next sentence? A security guard has a boring job. In this case, we are going to use the other way. A security guard. We are going to do it, it in is, the previous form. A security guard. It's a boring job. It's a job. It's, it's, it's job. a job boring. Okay, let's organize your ideas. Let's organize your ideas. First, we say a security guards, right? Mm -hmm. A security. Uh, okay, wait. <laughs> Here I have it. Okay, I was writing very excited there and I didn't have anything. A uh, security, security guards. Job. 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 And then is, you need the verb to be. Is. Is. A, is what is the, the adjective? A it's boring. Boring. A boring. It's boring, right? It's boring. Oh. In this case, you don't use a boring because you have the word job at the beginning, right? When the word job is at the end, you have to use our end. In this case, no, because you have the, uh, the word, the noun before the verb to be. A security guard's job is boring. If you see the examples here, 
si se fijan en estos ejemplos, you don't use a or an, right? You see? In the first examples, you don't use it. If you use it in this form, you don't use a or an. What about the next one? A photographer has a difficult job. Follow the same idea. A photographer's job, job is, job is difficult. difficult. A photographer's job is, is difficult. difficult. And you put the period and that's it, right? A photographer's job is difficult. What about the last one? A police officer has a dangerous job. A police officer? Uh -huh. job. job is dangerous. dangerous. Exactly like that. It's dangerous, okay? So that's the way we transform the sentences. Now, what we are going to do is the following. I am going to ask different people to create sentences and the other person has to transform the sentence. We are going to create the sentences like this, okay? A police officer's job is dangerous. And then the other person is going to say, a police officer has a dangerous job, okay? We are going to do this transformation exercise. Let's do one example. And here we have, the first uh, word that we are going to use here, let me erase this one. And we have boring musician. If we create a sentence with, with these two words, I am going to say, a musician's job is boring. What is the other form? A musician. Has a boring, a job. boring, boring job. job. Very good job, right? A musician has a boring job. Let's see. Easy. And the job is going to be, uh, let's see, a secretary. Secretary. And let me see. Mauricio, can you create the sentence with easy and secretary? Okay, uh, the secretary's job is easy. Very good job. Let's see. Uh, Isaias, can you give me the other form of the sentence? A secretary has an easy job. Very good job. Dangerous, and we are going to use firemen. Jose Moises, can you create the sentence with dangerous and fireman? A fireman, the hub is dangerous. Okay, a fireman's job is dangerous. 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 A fireman's dangerous. job is dangerous. Jairo, can you transform the sentence? Um, a fireman has a, a, a fireman has a, a dangerous a, a dangerous job. Very good, excellent. Let's continue with Jari. Jari, you are going to do the next one. Exciting, and I have teacher. A teacher's job is exciting okay a teacher's job is exciting good vanessa can you transform the sentence mm, a, sería, the teacher has in the site exciting an exciting job job very good excellent let's continue with difficult let's go with doctor and this one is going to be for Yolanda. Yolanda, can you create the sentence using doctor? And Elmer is going to transform it. Um, a doctor has a difficult job. A doctor has a difficult job. Transform it, Elmer. Um, a doctor's job is uh, difficult. 
Excellent, very good job. And the last one, stressful. Gustavo is going to give me the sentence and Roberto is going to transform it. And we have, chan, 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 students. Go ahead. A student? Uh -huh. a student has a stressful job. A student has a stressful job. And Roberto? A student has a stressful job. What is the transformation? The microphone. Sorry. <laughs> a student has a stressful uh, job. A stressful job, right? A student has a stressful job. How are we going to have the other form? Everybody, can you help me? The student has a student's job. A student's job is stressful. Okay, and it's true, right? It was like, oh no, yeah. teacher, my God, I was so stressed. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But you did a very good job. The idea is that you pay attention to the details of the sentences, okay? El inglés tiene eso. Que ustedes tienen que ser muy cuidadosos con dónde ponemos cada palabra. Porque si le cambiamos el puesto a una palabra, se nos arruina la oración. So we need to be very careful with that. Let's practice some pronunciation. Boring. 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 Dangerous. 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 Okay, when you when you receive the message on WhatsApp that you don't have to receive, hmm, dangerous, 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 <laughs> dangerous, dangerous is like salgamos en la noche, dangerous. No, because I have a class. You say mm -hmm, mm -hmm, dangerous, exciting, 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 exciting. difficult, difficult, difficult. stressful. It's stressful. stressful. Like the traffic, right? The traffic in the afternoon oh, is yeah. really stressful, right? If you like to sing, sing in English, but keep the lyrics there, okay? Si van en tráfico y no se mueve el tráfico, ponga la letra y cante. You can have your karaoke there and you practice English at the same time. Tips with teacher Nati. <laughs> yeah, don't sing songs that you don't know what you are singing, okay? Nunca canten nada que no hayan visto que dice primero. So that's important. So uh, in order to finish the topic of the professions and the occupations, we are going to have these little readings that we have here. And I know that you have seen them because they are in the platform, right? Here we have a, a reading about Lisa Parker and a reading about John Blues. Lisa Parker, I need you to analyze the reading first. Analyze the reading and tell me if you find new words or new vocabulary. And if you have new words, tell me, teacher, what's the meaning of, and then I can help you. Okay. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a- Sorry, teacher. Writer. Don't worry at night, uh -huh. but she's really an actress during the day. Uh -huh. She auditioned for plays and television show. Here, uh, continue, no continue. <laughs> okay, we're going to mark it, don't worry. Uh -huh. Here, Set you. Continue. I am going to tell you later. It's difficult and uh -huh. she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Okay, good. Another person who can help me with the second one. Hey, teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay, is uh, Lisa Parker or John? 
John Blue. Lots of teenager want John Blue. Job he job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he got he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester, tester for a big video game company. It is ever ever bony. never. John almost always 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 wins. Excellent. Thank you to my two volunteers for the first two readings. Claps for them. Thank you very much. Now we're going to go over pronunciation and things. In this case, we have Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works, right? Remember, we need to make a specific emphasis on the third person forms of the verb, right? She works as a waitress, as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, right, during the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule, right, schedule, what are you? her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream, right? Her schedule, her dream, because you are talking about a late, she, in this case, her. In this one, the next one, you have Lots of teenagers, right? Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays, right? He plays video games for eight hours a day. Eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it, right? He gets money for playing. How cool, right? John is a video game tester. Tester, that's the word. For a big video game company. Is it ever boring, right? Remember the pronunciation of the question. You say, is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins, right? Now we are going to, do you know all the words and all the vocabulary for these two uh, readings? ¿Sabemos todo el vocabulario de las dos lecturas? No, no, no words? Eh, yeah. What's the meaning lots? Lots of, muchos. Lots of, muchos. Yeah, you say lots muchos of teenagers. Jóvenes. Mu muchos jóvenes, muchos, muchos adolescentes. Uh -huh. Any other one? Uh, I have other. Ask okay. all the questions that you have. Don't worry. Almost. Almost es casi, ¿verdad? Almost, yes. Casi siempre. Almost always. Casi siempre almost always wins. Any other one? Tester. Tester, que los prueba, right? Es un probador de videojuegos. He tests all the games. Imagine that they are going to have this Mario Bros. 9. And he is the first person to play the game. And it's like, yeah, yeah, let me see it. Yeah, it's a good game, he says. Approved, right? And maybe if he doesn't like the game, the creators of the game are going to make the changes that John Blue is going to point at. It's like, mm, you see the colors are not nice. Maybe they change it, right? That's the job of, of a tester. Any other question? And waitress? Waitress. What is the meaning of waitress? I explained it yesterday. Mesera. Mesera. Camarera. Camarera. Mesera. Good. Very good. Any other question? Is it ever boring? ¿Se aburrirá alguna vez? Never, he says. And remember, a schedule that is horario, right? And she's tired a lot. She's tired a lot. It's like at the end of the day, she's like, oh my God, another day, another dollar. Okay. She's very tired, right? At the end of the day. It's like you, that you receive your classes and everything and you are following your dream. But maybe at the end, when the class finishes, it's like, oof. And then you fall asleep, right? And then you just 
continue with your things. So she's tired a lot. Let's continue with the next two readings. So here, what is Lisa Parker's job? What is her job? She's a waitress. She's a waitress. A waitress. And what is the other job that she has? Actress. She's an actress, right? She's an actress and a waitress. What about John Blues? What is his job? Uh, he is to play a video game. A video game? A video game tester. Tester, right? We have two jobs as well, because during the day, you are a manager, an engineer, you are a teacher, you are a psychologist or any other job, but at night, you are a student, right? That's your second job. During the day, I do other things, but at night, I am a teacher. So it is it, it's pretty awesome to have these two different jobs, right? Because during the day, I do many other organizational uh, activities, but at night, I am the teacher again, and that's cool. So remember the jobs that they have. Let's continue with the next readings. We have Betty, we have Becky Peck and Carlos Ruiz. Okay, Becky Peck and Carlos Ruiz. It says, Becky Peck, I need a volunteer for Becky Peck. Me. Go ahead. Becky Peck, walk in the park every day for money hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs of other people. Sometimes she takes a... Um, 20. 20, 20 dogs to the park at one time. Imagine. Sorry, no me acordaba como <laughs> So say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, yeah, thirty. Thirty-one, two, three, forty. And it goes on and on. The most okay. difficult ones are from one to twenty. Then the other ones are easy. So okay. Becky Peck walks twenty dogs at the same time. Okay, and maybe you have a chihuahua and it's like very difficult to take him out. Like, ah, choo -choo. right? <laughs> you, need to, you need to be very careful with it. So, do you know all the vocabulary from Becky Peck? Yes. Yes. Everything is clear on Becky Peck. What is the meaning of rain or shine? She needs to take the dogs out because the dogs need to do things outside. So she has to walk the dogs for many hours. She's a professional dog walker. Did you imagine that this profession existed? No, right. So like, yeah, I have a diplomado in professional dog walking. Yeah. Oh, really? Amazing. <laughs> right? Eating El Salvador, it would be a very good job. She mm -hmm. walks dogs for other people, right? For other people. What about Mr. Carlos Ruiz? I need a volunteer for Carlos Ruiz. Me? Go ahead. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, great homework. Helps with after school activities. And of course, he teaches his he salary. Uh -huh. uh, he teach his salary isn't great, but that's okay. His student like his class, so he happy. Okay, good. He's a busy man. He's a busy man. He plans lessons. Great homework, helps with after school activities. And of course, he teaches, right? Those are the different activities. When you have a list of activities like this, you have to mention each of them. You say like, 
He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after school activities. And of course, he teaches, right? Teaches with the S at the end because it's third person. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class and so he is happy. Okay, do you know all the words from this reading? I have a question. Yes. Teachers is anything else? Yes, he teaches, right? That's the verb. I teach, he teaches, right? And it's like enseñar de lecciones, right? Si ustedes le dicen a alguien, enseñame eso, you say, show me. Show me that. And say, look, oh, it's a box. That's cool. Show me. Enseñar de mostrar. Show. But teach, enseñar de enseñanza, de aprendizaje, it's teach. Okay. So we have many false friends in English. So okay. in this one, it says he's a busy man. He plans lessons, great homework, helps with after school activities. And of course, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. I am going to put the example of Mauricio here. Right? He's yes, the teacher. Of oh, <laughs> what is the next question? Yes? The word grades, what's the meaning? Okay, grades. 10, 7, 6, 5, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 8. Right? When you have a students, it's very common that you grade the homework, right? Students give you different homework and, okay, I'm going to use this one, and you have to grade it. Check, check, yes, check, uh, check. Calificar. Right, that it's grade, calificar. It's like what I do when you enter to the platform. I grade your exams. Check. You check the exams, good. So, it says, who do you think, who do you think says these phrases? Okay, we had four people. What was the first people, the first person that we saw? What was the name? Lisa. Lisa, uh -huh. Lisa what? Lisa Simpson. Parker. Lisa Parker, Parker, right? Lisa Parker, John Blue, Becky Pecky, Becky Peck, and Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. Okay. If I say after I win, I take a break. Who do you think says this phrase? ¿Quién creen ustedes que dice esta frase? John Blue. John, John Blue. Blue. Why? Because he plays a video game. He plays video games. Good. The next one. I don't usually work in the summer. Becky Peck. Mm. No, Becky Peck is rain or shine. Yeah. The first. Uh, Ca Carlos. Carlos. Why? Why? Uh, the summer is vacation. vacation. The summer is vacation for the teachers in the United States, right? Mm -hmm. Here in El Salvador, no, it's when we work <laughs> the most. The restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Lisa. 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 Why? She is a waiter. Because she's a waitress. Good. After work, my feet and arms are tired. Becky Peck. Becky, Becky Peck. Why? Because she works every day. She walks every day. And why do their arms hurt? ¿Por qué le duelen los brazos? For the, the dogs. Work. Because of the, the dogs. dogs, right? Because the dogs pull you to the front and they are like, oh my God, the dogs. <laughs> yeah. So that's very good. That is critical thinking. When you say, okay, that's the answer. Why? Ah, because of this and this. So that is an extra mile on um, analyzing sentences. No se queden solamente con decirme a uh, Lisa or Carlos or uh, Becky Peck. Analyze why. Say why. Ah, because she's a, she's a dog walker and she's walking all the day and she's tired, right? You analyze a little bit more far from just the answer. Okay. 
here, we are going to go to the platform right now. And we are going to analyze a little bit on the exams that we are supposed to have finished by now. Let me see here. Well, we are here and this is your platform. Can you see it? Yes, right? Okay. By now, you are supposed to have finished section one. Done. Yes or no? Todos, ya la terminamos. Es algo completado. Le podemos poner check. Yes. 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 Okay. Todos le pusimos check. Okay. Section two. Ya todos le pusimos check. Yes. yes. Sure. In yes. my section. My section two, uh, no aparece el check, pero yo ya la hice. Okay, no I think we I think we checked that one the other day, no? No, but we can see your progress. Maybe I can see your yeah, progress. The I progress can... is. It's, mm -hmm. it's done, okay. Sí. Okay, good. Maybe, I don't know, we need to check on the, on the, on, on every single exercise, but I am going to check your progress as well. So, section three, done. Yes. Yes. No, no, yes. No, yes. No, no. <laughs> okay. In section three, we have something specific that are the midterm exams. We are going to go over the exams right now. Okay. Si de repente no los han terminado, es momento para que abran la plataforma ahí. And you can work along with me because we are going to work on the different exams, the different evaluations. So we were just studying this. In this case, it says complete the conversations. This is the exercise that we have just done, right? Lo acabamos de hacer ahorita. A singer, what sentence would you use to complete this phrase? A singer have an exciting job, has a exciting job, has an exciting job, or have an exciting job. Has an exciting. Has an exciting. Why? Because has is for she. Mm -hmm. And an is because uh, the the words start with uh, with e. <laughs> oh. With vowel. Vowel. <laughs> good. Very good job, Jenny. Yes. And that's the way we need to analyze the sentence, right? Has an exciting job. And it says, I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring or is not boring. If you are saying that she has an exciting job and you say, I disagree. No, yo no soy de acuerdo. I think a singer's job, what do you have? Is boring or is not boring? It's boring. It's, boring. It's, boring. it's boring, right? Porque antes estamos diciendo que ella tiene un trabajo excitante, chévere. And it's like, no, I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring. And it says, a fly attendant have a stressful, has a stressful, or has an stressful job? Has a stressful has a stressful job, right? Because stressful, you might sound like it is an E, a stressful, and you say like, an, no, it's an S, right? It has a stressful job. And you say, I agree, estoy de acuerdo. It is stressful. It is stressful. stressful, right? It is stressful because I agree with that. It's like, oh yeah, for sure. Number three. A cashier's job is easy. A cashier's job is not easy. Is not easy. Look at the next one. I disagree. A cashier's and you have the difficult here. So what do you think the answer for the first one is? Is easy. Is, ah, is easy because on the next part of the sentence you are going to disagree and it says no, I disagree. A cashier has a difficult job. Has a difficult has job. And difficult job. You okay? You cannot say has and difficult because you have a consonant here. 
Okay, a cashier has a difficult job. Has because it's he or she, and a because you have a consonant. And then for sure, you click on submit and you have all the answers correct, right? All the ones that you did with me are correct. Now, if you finish with this, then you go with the next exam, right? We finished the first one. Oh, we did the last one. Okay, <laughs> let's do the first one. In this one, we have a listening. And in this one, you are going to select the correct answer to complete the sentence. And here we have, let's check on the sentences and then we are going to listen. There are bedrooms. Si quieren tomar nota, pueden tomar nota. Ese es un, ese es un tip que les puedo regalar. Siempre que hagan un listening, tomen notas. Tomen notas, ¿para qué? Para que cuando respondan, no les cueste. Okay. I am going to show you the questions and then we're going to listen to the audio. There are bedrooms. There are some chairs in the, okay. Julia needs a, for the kitchen. And we are going to listen to the conversation. Pay attention. Hopefully it's going to work, okay. Cruzamos los dedos a que funcione. Come on, no enfrente de los niños. Come on. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay. Ya lo habíamos hablado. No me hagas eso enfrente de los niños. My computer. <laughs> okay. Now, but you have the listening in your house, right? Ay, come on. Come on. Okay, let me just refresh this part. Okay. Sí. Ya hemos hablado con la computadora que no me va a quedar mal enfrente de los estudiantes y ya ven lo que me hace. Sure. <laughs> yes. This is section three. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, this case, is, uh -huh. section two. Okay, so we need to complete section two and, well, section three is going to be easy for you because you are doing the exercises right now. Si le pones atención a todos los ejercicios que vamos a hacer ahora, se te va a ser bien fácil completarla. Okay? What's okay? Let's see. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house. But I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Yes, thanks. Yeah, I need friends like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't have, I, I, I have a, this 42-inch uh, TV and I don't use it. Do you want it? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay, so how many bedrooms are in the house? Three. 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 Good. There are some chairs in the? Living room. Living room. room. And Julia needs a? Microwave. A microwave oven, right? She needs a microwave oven for the kitchen. And then you just click on submit. And for sure, your answers will be safe, stored, and correct. In the next evaluation that you have here, you need to complete the conversation. And we were doing this exact exercise in class. For this one, you have to use do and have, right? Or does, do, does, and doesn't, right? When we were talking about the house, the house, we were using this type of exercise. In this one, your apartment building an elevator. For your apartment building, si estamos hablando de it, que vamos a ocupar al principio. Does. Does. Does, does, does your, apartment your apartment building your apartment have an elevator? Does and have, because have, for sure, 
If you use the auxiliary, you don't need to change. Yes, it does. 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 Si estamos preguntando con does, does contestamos con does. Yes, it does. does. The bedrooms closets? Do the bedroom have closets? Why do? It's okay. It's, it's okay because it's plural, right? Because bedrooms is plural, so you need to use do. Do, do the bedrooms have closets? Okay. Very good. No, they don't. Si aquí ocupamos do para la pregunta, ¿qué vamos a ocupar para la respuesta? No, they do. Negative. What is the negative for do? Don't. 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 Right? No, they, no, they don't. don't. No, they don't. Right? And just, that's it. And you submit it. Right? And that's correct. All the answers are correct. Let's continue. In the next one. Right? We go with the next one. And it says, on a scramble the sentences. We need to organize the sentences. And it says, there, there isn't a mirror in bedroom. How would you create this sentence? The first one. Miss, yo las traté de hacer, pero siempre me daban error. No sé si algo estaré poniendo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yo hice tres por los espacios. Si okay. gusta, compartimos los ejemplos porque yo no sé si estaré mal. Yo, pero... I, am, I am going to do it right now. Hice I'm... tres. Uh -huh. There is there isn't a mirror in be, in bedroom. Uh -huh. In bedroom, there isn't a mirror. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Okay. Yeah, but That's you say yeah. there, and you have to be very careful. Si it's no, a... si no tenemos, si no tenemos oh, este yeah. tipo, esta este eh, apóstrofe, copienlo, copienlo de aquí y lo pegan. Porque, por ejemplo, si yo ocupo el incorrecto. Okay, I am going to use this one. There isn't a mirror in, in the, bedroom. the bedroom, right? In the bedroom. Tenemos que ser bien cuidadosos también con el spelling. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces se nos va una letra, ponemos otra y nos equivocamos. Entonces, ahí es donde eh, puede estar equivocado. Miren aquí. ¿Qué puse aquí? Eh, la A. Ajá, no dejé el espacio. La a está unido. Exacto, no dejé el espacio y por eso puede ser un error. Veamos si me acepta el apóstrofe que usé. No es el apóstrofe correcto. Entonces, ese puede ser también otro error. You say, there isn't. Ok, y es el único que tengo. Entonces, vengo yo y digo, hey, no lo puedo ocupar. Ok, lo voy a copiar de aquí. And you go here. And you say, there isn't a mirror in In the, the bedroom. bedroom. Veamos si ahora me lo deja. Ok, no, que me pude haber equivocado. Ajá, exactly like that. And I said, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Yo le puse punto aquí. Y no lleva. ¿Por qué? Porque I don't know, right? Say so like, and there you have it. And it continues being there. It's so like. There, uh, le falta el de. There isn't a mirror on the bedroom. No, we have there isn't. Uh -huh. la, la inicial, uh -huh. Okay, and you have it there. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Let's see. No, and no. it's still oh. incorrect. Siempre de error, the... Okay, let me Pero... let me show you the correct form. Let's see. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Entonces. Any. It says on scramble the sentences with the correct order. No, no. Ah, the order. No, let me just check. So maybe, maybe there is a mistake in the written form. Let me see. And it says, eh, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Yeah, capital imperial. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Uh huh. Y a mí me estuvo dando ese error, no, pero lo que hicimos es sacar el apóstrofe con al 39. Okay. Let me see. If not, I am going to send you the sentence exactly like this. Let's see. If it gets it like that, you see? Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the apostrophe, the form of the apostrophe. So I am going to send you here the correct sentence. 
in the chat so you don't have any difficulties. It's alt, what? What was it? Alt, ciento? Alt, treinta Ah, treinta Okay. Alt, and we're going to have here? Treinta Okay. So there you have it. No pictures in the hall. There are in. There are. There are no pictures. There are no. no there are pictures. No picture in, in, the in, are. The hall. in the hall. In the hall. Let's see if it's correct. Yes. And the next one. There. Uh, in there aren't any the curtains dining room. There aren't, there aren't any, curtains any the curtains in, in the, the dining room. room. Okay, I am going to copy the aren't because if not, it's going to be a problem. There aren't any any, any curtains in, in the dining room. Okay. And then we have it. And you see, I put a period again. <laughs> Sorry, you see? And that's why I really like to use these exercises as an example, okay? Y me gusta ponerle los ejemplos y hacerlos con ustedes para que vean cuáles son los detalles que nos pueden fallar, okay? La plataforma es a veces un poquito quisquillosa con esos detalles. Entonces, me gusta hacerlos con ustedes para que veamos todos en lo que nos podemos equivocar para que no nos suceda, ¿ok? Ahora ya nos fijamos todos, ya vimos qué es lo que nos puede fallar al momento de llenar ejercicios como estos, ¿ok? So, let's continue. We survived to that one. Let's continue here. Here, this exercise we did it yesterday and it says, A works in a hospital. The pilot? The salesperson? A nurse. The nurse. The nurse. The nurse. The nurse. What about the second one? Reception. Reception. What? Receptionist. Receptionist. The next one. A judge. A judge. 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 A judge yep. sits all day, right? And then you submit them and for sure they will be totally correct. And in here, we have select the questions to complete the conversations. And it says, I work at a restaurant. How do you like? I. Where do you work? Where, where do you, where do you, where do you work? work? Okay, porque es en primera persona. Yo, where do you work? Because in this one is for plural and this one is for he or she. The next one, he's a firefighter. What does he do? What does okay. he do? In the answer we have he. It okay. says, what does he do? Because in this one you have they and you. It's not possible. The next one, they hate their jobs. How do they like their jobs? How do they like it, right? How do they like their jobs? And it's like, for sure, they will be correct. They, they. He, he. You, I, right? It's the first person. <gasps> hey, my God, don't fall asleep. Sorry, <laughs> Don't worry. Ah, don't worry. I understand. And the last one that we did, the conversation. So, this part, it's supposed to be done, okay? Hasta aquí ya tenemos que haber terminado. Si no la han terminado, aprovechen terminarla hoy, que tienen frescas las respuestas. Because here, if you click on next, for sure, here, you are going to go to the next section. And the next section is lesson four. It's one of the last ones because we are about to finish. Imagine today is our class number 10. Oh my God, we have been 10 days together and I haven't felt any of them. Si me preguntan, yo siento que ayer empezamos. And we're running on time. So we are going to start talking about the next section. And for this one, I am going to go back to the presentations. So if you finish that one and you want to start working on this one, that's perfect, okay? For me, it's okay. Terminen todos si quieren. For... Uh, 
the next class. So we were doing the midterm test as a team. So it was teamwork time. It was very good because we helped each other to solve the problems. Tomorrow, we are going to start with the next unit, in this case, the next section, and we are going to talk about food. For this one, I need you to do some research, okay? Lo voy a mandar a hacer un poquito de investigación de campo al internet. I need you to investigate vocabulary about food, about fruits, vegetables, about grains, about the different dairy products, right? All the things related to food. That healthy is food. healthy junk food, food, junk food, everything. We need vocabulary related to food. And something specific that I need you to focus also on your investigation. I am going to send you the message on the chat so that you can have it. So we're going to investigate about food, right? Investigate food vocabulary. That it's the first one, right? Investigate food vocabulary. And we are going to investigate also countable and uncountable nouns. Okay. I am going to send you to make two investigations for tomorrow's class. The first one is food vocabulary. And the second one is going to be about countable and uncountable nouns. You are going to go on the internet and you are going to investigate a little bit and take notes. So when we come to the class, you are going to be able to share. Okay? Y les explico. Mañana, tan pronto nos incorporemos a clase, nos vamos a ir a trabajar en grupos. En cada grupo vamos a presentar un poquito de lo que investigamos. Okay? No va a ser nada más de que investigaste. Sí, no. Y vos, no, no, más o menos. No. We are going to go and we are going to share. Say like, what is the vocabulary that you have? I have this, 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 and this. And you, hey, I don't have that one. How do you write it? And you are going to exchange the information, right? When you finish, we are going to go back to the classroom and we are going to continue with what we are going to do in class. But that is going to be tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to be working basically on food, right? We are going to be working on food, food vocabulary, and all the things related to it. That is going to be our main topic for tomorrow. We are going to talk about, okay, let me just share. Okay, give me, I'm going to cancel this one because I need to share the other one. Tomorrow we are going to be talking about food and drinks. And I am going to ask you two main questions. Estas van a ser las dos primeras preguntas que les voy a hacer cuando vengamos de los grupos. Can you cook? What is your favorite restaurant? That it's for you to keep it in mind for tomorrow. I can ask you the first question right now. Can you cook? Yes or no? Can you cook? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, it's easy or difficult to cook? For me, it's easy because I like it. Okay, because you like it. What is Jenny's specialty? Uh, Mexican food. Mexican food, let's see, good. Marlon, can you cook? No, teacher. No, Jairo, can you cook? <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> I can't, you say. I can't. I can't. Moises, can you cook? Mr. Jose Moises, can you cook? No, I can't. You no. can't, okay? No. Okay, si nos quedamos solo, delivery. <laughs> delivery. <laughs> okay, Vanessa, can you cook? Yes, teacher. Yeah, but you don't like it, I can see. No. <laughs> Okay. Ana Beatriz, can you cook? Yes. Okay. I cook. What is your specialty? Pastas. Pastas. Good. Roberto, can you cook? Yeah. What is your specialty? Uh, let me see. Meals, rice, salad. Okay. Rice. It is it is complicated to cook rice. 
So it is admirable. Good. Isaías, can you cook? Yes, I can. What is your special dish? Um, China food. Chinese food. Chinese, Chinese food. food Excellent. Elmer, can you cook? Yes, I can. What is your special dish? Um, the special uh, meat. Oh, meat. Cool. Let's see. The last question is going to be for Mr. Carlos Ernesto. Can you cook? So, so, teach. <laughs> so, so, at least you don't die yeah. serving, right? Good. <laughs> so, we are going to be talking about this tomorrow. So, be prepared, investigate, and we are going to share the investigation that you do uh, tomorrow. You are going to share it in the class. Okay. So, my okay. dear, my dear students, have a very beautiful night, and I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye, bye. Investigate, bye. okay? Bye bye. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Bye, teacher. Eh, necesito hacer una pregunta. Question me. Go ahead. Fíjese que está ahorita en la plataforma y en la última pregunta, en la de They aren't and any curtains in dining room. Todavía no me agarra y no sé por qué. Okay, I am going to send you the answer in the chat, okay? okay. So you can just copy and paste, okay? Thank Perfecto. you. Okay, bye-bye. Feliz noche. Bye-bye, thank you.